Hello stamping friends, this is Angie here with Too Cool Stamping and we're here with our live class that we do every week on Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here to show you several different projects and I also have a class kit that you can earn just by placing an order with me. You'll be able to make the cards that we're making today in the live class. I wanted to start out today um, just chatting a little bit about some of the new products that are coming up. I'm so excited. You guys, if you, if you, first of all, if you need a catalog, the catalog is going to be coming out June 3rd. And um, it's, I mean, we say this every year, but it is really, really awesome. And I, one of my favorite things, as usually it is in, the, in a brand new catalog, are the brand new in colors. Every year we get five new in colors and five of the old in colors will leave. They only stick around for uh, two years. So we always have a fresh new um, group of colors that are coming in that we can play with and we can combine with the old colors and it just keeps our color combinations really trendy and fresh and I love that. So this year's colors, awesome, awesome. Not only are they awesome on their own, but they look really well together. Not all the time that the uh, in colors really look well to together, but they do this year for sure. So that is a really popular thing. Um, so that all comes out uh, June 3rd. If you need a new catalog and you're not already associated with another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to send you one. You can just go to my website, toocoolstamping.com, and there is some information there. You can just click on a request button, request a catalog button, and fill out your contact information. I'll be happy to get one sent out to you. Um, so do that for sure. So some of the colors, or some of the products, I should say, also uh, some of the in-color items, are selling out so quickly with this new catalog, you guys. It's absolutely crazy. Right now um, is the pre-order, so all of the demonstrators can order from the new catalog. Not yet to the customers yet, but the demonstrators can order, and they are loving these new products so much that they're starting to get close to selling out. We got a heads up from Stampin' Up! this past week that many of the items from our, we have a kind of a select pre-order, it's not the whole book. So it's just um, a few things that we can purchase uh, a little bit ahead of the customers. And many of those things are selling out already. They just are phenomenal. And then um, they wanted to let us know that that was happening because of course with the whole COVID-19 happening, some of the items are, when they, um, they already have items on order to come in, but it's taking longer to get in. So there could be a time, sometime between now and the beginning of the catalog, when some of those items actually sell out for a temporary amount of time, go into back order, or if, it's an ex if they expect a, an extended back order for some because of shipping delays or what have you, um, they might even put it into non-orderable status. So I'm just giving everybody a heads up that there are going to be a handful of items that could not be available in the brand new catalog. Um, the one thing that you can do to get around that is I think at this moment, all of those items are still available. They just give us a heads up that they could potentially not be available because they are exceeding their forecasted um, inventory for this pre-order period. So um, the way that you can get around it is you can actually order those items now through a starter kit order. So if you really want to get your hands on some of these new pre-order items that the demonstrators are loving, obviously, then it's a great time to try out that $99 starter kit. You can select all of the items that you want to from the pre-order up to $125 in value. You'll get free shipping on that kit. And um, like I said, it's only $99 for $125 worth of products. So you get a great deal right up front. Then you're gonna be a part of my Too Cool team and all future orders are gonna be 20% off. So anything that you're gonna wanna, wanna buy from that brand new catalog, you're gonna get at a discount. So it's a phenomenal deal. There's no strings attached. You don't have to be a demonstrator and have, you know, you don't have to do classes, you don't have to sell if you don't want to. 
you can just enjoy the hobby of Stampin' Up. And if you, if you spend a lot, then this is a perfect way to save some money. If you have a great big wish list for the new catalog, if you already have that in your hands, you should be, uh, if you're on my list, you should be getting that anytime now. So if you've already put together a big wish list, it's a great way to save some money. Purchase that $99 starter kit, pick out whatever you want from the current catalog, from the clearance rack, from the retired list, and from the demonstrator exclusive pre-order. You can get all of those things to choose from up to $125 and you'll be a part of my team and get that 20% off uh, while, you, while you remain a member. So if you want to um, get some more information about that, you can contact me. Just go to my website, twocoolstamping.com, click on the email me link and send me a question. Or you can also just message me on Facebook and I'll respond to you there. Okay. Let's get to, uh, to our cool projects today. We're gonna have a little bit of a mixture today. We're kind of in this transition period where we have the retired list and we have the new catalog coming out in just a couple of weeks. And I am so excited about playing with these new items. I wanted to just give you a little bit of a sneak peek, but I also wanted to use some of the products that I'm not gonna be able to use because they're retiring. So we're doing a mixture. So today we're gonna work with two different uh, stamp sets that are going to be retiring. One is called Vibrant Vases, and when I flip the camera around, I'll show you those so you can see them um, going in the right direction, but Vibrant Vases is one, and it has that cute little punch that goes with it, which is also retiring, and then also Label Me Bold is a nice sentiment set that um, it just has really little sweet sentiments that go really well with this stamp set. So, uh, I think you're going to love our cards today. They're they're kind of simple and sweet, and um, I had a lot of fun putting them together. So we're going to flip the camera around. I you might want to close your eyes so <laughs> as we're moving this around, so you're not feeling like you're on a roller coaster. All right, and then get this all set up so you can see. Um, the two stamp sets that we're going to be using, the Vibrant Vases and Label Me Bold. The Vibrant Vases goes with, I think it was called the Vivid Vases, was the first um, stamp set that came out with the Vases Builder Punch. And this is a second coordinating set. So both of those are still available right now on page 60 and 61 in the current catalog. Um, but they both will be retiring. So if you want this particular stamp set, 148656 is the number. Um, we also have, here's the other stamp set too. So, and you can probably, if you already have the varied vase, it's called varied vases, not vivid. Varied vases, if you already have that one, you can probably use that one as a substitute for this class. Um, and definitely coordinates very well with the vibrant vases that we're using today. So the varied vases, one, four, six, six, four, four. And then the builder punch is back here on 188, and that's one, four, seven, zero, four, zero. So we'll be using that. And then also the label me bold stamp set. This is one that I was really hoping was going to stay because I love this. You're going to just stamp something that looks like it is embossed basically because it has that reversed type. So I really love that. Um, the number for that, 151631. So if you want to order that, that will be retiring as well. So only a couple more weeks, only until June 2nd for both of these or while they last. Um, I think all stamp sets are actually guaranteed through May 26th. And after that, it's while supplies last. So we'll be using those today. And we're just gonna jump right in here. So I'm gonna start with a, oh, let me, I forgot to mention the class. So if you like what you're seeing today and you'd like to recreate the cards yourself, you can get a free class kit from me and all you need to do is place an order with me, $35 or more. Don't forget to use this host code and um, you can just go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the shop now link and that will get you to my online store remember if you do want to place a larger order of 150 dollars or more 
Don't use the host code, you don't need to use that. I want you to be able to earn stamp and rewards with your order. So don't use the host code, I'll just automatically know that you want this set and I'll, I'll be sure to send it to you. So don't worry about that. Okay, so let's get started with our first card. We're gonna have uh, this base of pool party. And I use my bone folder to give it a good crease. And next, I used, um, I'm, I'm gonna have all the measurements on this post as well as my blog post about these projects. So you can look for that information there. So this is a Whisper White piece and I've already embossed it with the tufted embossing folder. And we're gonna layer that onto a piece of basic black. Just kind of have a hint of the black showing around there for a nice frame and we'll add that directly to our card front center that right on there and now we're going to use just a little strip of matching pool party designer series paper this is from the six by six pack i believe it's no longer available um, it's the Suttles collection, but I have had a lot of it left, so I thought I would use it up on our class kits. That way you can still play with it a little bit longer, even though it's not available. Already sold out, it's a retiring item. So I'll put that right across the bottom. That gives us a nice foundation for our focal point. So I've already die cut a stitched shapes circle die cut here in Whisper White. So we'll set that aside. That's gonna be kind of our base on here where we're gonna have our flowers. And now I wanna stamp our flowers. And I'm gonna start with this larger vase. Now what I've done here, you'll notice on the, the thing I love about this stamp set, it has two different versions here of the same shaped image. So one is kind of a modeled uh, shaded in image and the other one's an outline image. So it's a two step stamp. So what I like to do is um, if you wanna use the two step stamping, I stamp the outline first and then I stamp over it with whatever solid color that I wanna fill that shape in with. So when I set my blocks up, because there's so many different shapes here, it's actually easy for me to keep them together so I can really do quick stamping if I put one of the blocks, uh, the outline on one side, and then flip it over and the shading on the other. So I need a big enough block that I can see through so I can line it up easily, but I like to put that on the same block. So that's how I set that up. I'm just gonna stamp this in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then we could do the shading, but I'm going to actually color with Stampin' Blends. There's lots of ways that you can do the coloring on these. I'm gonna use some Pool Party light colored Stampin' Blends. And I know that most of the Stampin' Blends are on the um, retired list. Don't freak out, those are still gonna be available. They're just gonna be, be selling them in the combo packs only. So if you're looking for any individual colors, you might wanna check and see what is left. I know some of them are already sold out, but you will be able to still get the combo pack. So don't worry, we are not going to get rid of the um, Stampin' Blends. Those are too awesome. So I have my punch here and I had to turn this upside down to make it fit, which as you notice, you can use your vase this way or you can use it this way. It's really very versatile. Depends on what kind of shape you want. So I'm gonna line that up in my punch. And there, there's our bottom of the flowers. Now let's do the flower portion. And I'm just gonna get some scrap paper. And stamp those again in the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. We'll use more Stampin' Blends. 
and this time I'm going to use the Dark Mango Melody. And I'm just doing quick coloring here, so not really shading. You could go to a little more trouble, but just for the purpose of our video. So there's our Mango Melody. I'm gonna put in some dark pumpkin pie centers just to give it a little bit of contrast. And then light pear pizzazz, no, light old olive, which is kind of like pear pizzazz for the leaves down here. Now we don't have the punch, we don't have a punch for this particular, whoops, I have one, I see I missed one petal. Totally, I mean, I wanna go fast, but I also wanna have color. So we don't have a punch for this, so we're gonna do just a little fussy cutting. So pardon me, I was gonna get this done beforehand and I didn't get it done. But it just takes a little bit of time, just go around it. Again, um, I think I talked about this last week, but if you keep your blades kind of steady and move your paper around as you do fussy cutting, you're going to have a little more control and your cuts will be a little more even. You'll have um, a nice, nicer border because you'll get used to, I call it kind of driving it around the edge. So it really doesn't take too long. It's just a little bit of fussy cutting. So there are our flowers. Let's get some of these pieces out of here. Oops. Then I'm gonna punch out a couple of leaves. I love that this punch, it has three different vases, it has a little tulip, and then it also has a little leaf. So I'm gonna punch a couple of those out. So now as we're adding this, I'm going to pop the vase up with some dimensionals. onto my circle. And then before I put this on, I wanna add those leaves. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of snail. And then we'll have these leaves kind of coming out of the side here and maybe one up here coming out this way. Then we'll add a couple of dimensionals and pop that up as well. These little images are just so, so sweet. I love that. I'm gonna tuck those stems inside and the flowers kind of bust out of the circle. So we have everything all mounted. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. I should have mounted the circle ahead of time, but we can put it on now. And let's put a sentiment on there. This is where we're gonna get out the Label Me Bold stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that again in the Memento Black. Get that nice and inked up. And just stamp it on some scrap paper. Again, we'll have to do some fussy cutting, but it's not too bad since it's a rectangle shape. That's quick, right? So a little thank you. There's lots of different choices in that stamp set. There's congratulations, well done, happy birthday, hello from me for you. Lots of different uh, sentiments. So you have a lot of occasions covered. Now to pop that one up, I'm gonna use a couple of the mini dimensionals. These are when they come in really handy. You can also just use a regular dimensional and just cut it in half, or you can use that outer edge of the dimensionals if you want to. I'm gonna add just a little bit of snail right on the edge because we're gonna overlap that just a bit. Thank you. I just love the way that nice bold look really pops on that sweet card. All right, we're gonna finish up with 
a few basic pearls. Just kind of floating around the flowers. And that is our very first card. And let me show you the too cool version that I did. So this is one I did with mint macaron and the horizontal version. I used the different uh, flourish folder and uh, colored in the mint macaron. And I actually, um, for this one, I used a little bit of the Wink of Stella. We could add that to this, this card as well. Just a little bit of shimmer. Really adds a nice touch, maybe some to the vase as well. You could even add it to the sentiment if you wanted to. But that gives it a nice, a nice little pop of color. So here are two cool versions for the first card. All right, and we're gonna be, this one is gonna be in your class kit. Okay, next, we're gonna have a sneak peek of two of our new in colors. You guys are gonna love this. This one is actually my favorite. So obviously this isn't it, this is Whisper White, and we have a thick cardstock here. If you're gonna use Whisper White for your card base, you always wanna use the thick version. That's gonna give you a nice sturdy card base. Then we're gonna have a strip of the Mint Macaron paper. Again, this is already uh, retired. It's already sold out, but I had some extra, so I wanted you guys to play with that. And we're gonna add this right to the side of our card. And then a little strip of coordinating mint macaron down the center. Just to kind of finish that edge off. Now later, I'm gonna to have to cut that off because I cannot stand <laughs> that that is not lined up. Anyone else have have an OCD about that, I definitely do. All right, so here is the new in color, one of the new ink in colors, it's called Just Jade. And I love it because I always love blues and greens as you guys probably have figured out from all of the different blue and green things that I show you. But I love how it's kind of a darker version of the mint macaron, but just maybe a hint more blue. And then you might notice that this is a different folder than you've seen. <clears throat> This is actually a brand new embossing folder and it comes in a two pack. They're smaller than normal and this one is just a really pretty leaf pattern and the other one, I don't know if you can see it very well, I should have brought one of my, um, one of my embossed versions out, but you can kind of see each side has a little bit of foliage coming out and then it's blank in the middle. Anyway, these are called the Greenery Folders, um, and they come in a Forever Greenery Suite that is absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to show you all of that and play with all of that with you. These are actually one of the products that is not um, is on the list of potentially not being available right away, so this is something that you can earn right now if you place that starter kit order. Um, also, you'll notice that they're a little bit smaller, and that's because our die cutting machines that we have coming up, which I cannot wait to show you those, they're not gonna be ready right when the catalog comes out, but very soon after. There's gonna be a regular size die cutting machine like our previous one, and then there's gonna be a little mini one that's gonna be perfect for these size embossing folders. So just a little sneak peek information about that. All right, so this is Just Jade. Again, it's embossed with the greenery folder. I'm just gonna add that with a little bit of snail. If you want a more secure hold, you could use the tear and tape. And we'll add that right to the front. I love those colors together, really, really pretty. Now we have another Stitch Shapes uh, Whisper White die cut already done for you. And we'll start to use our vibrant vases images on here. So we'll start with, we're gonna use just one of the um, 
shaded, the solid shading. And to match, um, we don't have the ink yet for the end colors. Those are gonna be out when the catalog comes out. So I didn't have any to use with jaded, with the Just Jade, but I'm using shaded spruce, and I'm just gonna stamp off once. And then I should have put my sentiment. Let me do my sentiment first, actually, so that I know exactly where to stamp it. So I have my sentiments from Vibrant Vases, and I did the same thing where I put a sentiment on this side and then a sentiment on this side so I can uh, very easily line those up and use them very quickly to make several different cards. It's great as you're designing cards as well. That way you can play with different, different images and different sentiments very quickly. So we're gonna do Celebrate Every Tiny Victory in Memento Black at the bottom. Then I'm gonna do that vase in shaded spruce, stamped off once, and then, and I thought that that matched pretty well. So shaded spruce stamped off once actually matches that Just Jade really pretty. Okay, next we're gonna stamp our, let's see if I can find what I need, here we go. Another bouquet of flowers here at the top, again with the Memento ink and we'll set those right on the top here. And then we're gonna use that two-step stamping technique to fill those in. So I have my flowers here. We're gonna use Melon Mambo to give it a nice pop of color. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to line this up perfectly since I have the camera in the way, but you should be able to take that right over the top of your Memento black image line that up and stamp right over it and it fits right into the flowers there. You can do the same thing with the leaf image. So this one we're gonna do in pear pizzazz and there's just little tiny solid leaves. We're gonna see if we can line this up with the camera in the way. Not too bad. So there is our cute little focal point. We're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals here. If you hear my dogs barking, they're just upstairs going crazy. Jackson Millie. I need to show you guys some updated pictures. I, used, I had been posting pictures of them, but I haven't for a while. Okay, and we're gonna add this to the front. I love that Just Jade really frames that nice, nicely. And let me close some of these ink pads, get them out of my way before I st stick my hand in them. All right, let's add a little bit of texture with a Whisper White Twine Bow. Unfortunately, this is another one of those products that are going to be leaving us. It's on the retired list. It makes me so sad because this is just such a basic go-to little, just a little bit of something just to add a little bit of texture, which I really love. All right, we're gonna add that with a glue dot. So I'm just gonna stick the knot right on that glue dot and kind of pinch the glue dot behind it and then add it right to the front of my vase. And then I'll finish up with some holiday rhinestones. The holiday rhinestones are carrying over into the new book and there's some shaded spruce colors in here, which is absolutely perfect. I'm just gonna add one just for a little pop of sparkle there that matches. And I love how that turned out. So that's one of the new colors, Just Jade. And then one of the other new colors is the Too Cool version here, and that is Misty Moonlight. This is a beautiful, kind of a grayish blue kind of a color. So, so pretty. I paired it here with Balmy Blue for the background. And to get the ink color, I don't have that ink pad yet, but I just stamped off Night of Navy, and it actually 
turned out pretty close to the midnight or the misty moonlight uh, color. I stamped, uh, I think I used Calypso Coral on this one, also pear pizzazz for the leaves and a different sentiment and another holiday rhinestone jewel in Night of Navy. So I love how these new colors are kind of different. Uh, they're a different shade of the same hue. So that's, um, and they work really well together. They kind of have uh, a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a, I can't think of the word I want to use, but they're, they're just kind of, um, I don't know, the, the color isn't super bright. It's just kind of downplayed. I can't think of the word I want to use. But anyway, these are two of my favorites from the in colors. So there's a sneak peek of those. Oh, and also the, um, you can see if you look closely, the greenery uh, texture that comes, that was a little bit of foliage on each side. So I use that different folder. So you can see both of those folders from that set. That's, that'll be a new product. Okay. Here's a couple more new products for the next, the next project here. This one is a new color called Magenta Madness. This is nice and bright. We've needed a nice bright pink for a while. And this is perfect for spring flower cards that we're doing. So I love that. Also, this is, I don't, hopefully the camera can pick up this texture. This is, um, I think it's called Tasteful Textiles is the folder name. Don't quote me on that, but that is um, what I think it is. I should have brought it over here so I could definitely know for sure. But it's just a little bit of a pattern, um, but I love that. And I just have it on the same Magenta Madness on a four by five and a quarter just to give the whole background a little bit of soft texture. I love that look. Okay, next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next we have a new shape. I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of some things with this. So this new shape is from the Tasteful Labels dies. So it kind of goes with that tasteful uh, textile background. Uh, I think that's all in the same suite, but look at all of these gorgeous label shapes. I love having that. This will be a must-have instant classic that you'll want for sure. So this is, um, I'm not, I can't remember whether this was on the list of, um, of items that might not be available right away, but it is available right now. So if you want to get that starter kit, that would be a good thing to do. All right. For this one, we're going to start out with our large vase again. And we're just gonna stamp that in Memento ink. We're gonna use the two-step stamping this time. And we'll use that with Coastal Cabana. Again, just goes right over the top. I love how, and it gives it some really nice shading on there too, so it kind of looks textured. Next, we're going to add some flowers. And we'll put those up at the top. Whoops, I didn't get that on there very well. If I was using my stamp -a jig I would be able to fix that, but. All right. Next, we're gonna color those in and I'm gonna use, I was trying to find some colors that kind of went along with the Magenta Madness. We don't have those in color inks yet. Um, they will be available when the catalog hits. So you'll definitely have a chance to, to get those. But I'm just gonna add some dark flirty flamingo just as a variation of pink. And I keep missing that one little petal there. I'm also gonna use some Melon Mambo and we don't have a Stampin' Blends marker with that, so I'm using Stampin' Write marker, which just goes to show you, you could use your stamp, Stampin' Write marker. It's perfect for this kind of small coloring. You're not gonna see the stroke marks on it very much. So you don't need to do a lot of blending with something that's this small. So Stampin' Write markers work perfectly for small 
images like that. We're gonna add a little bit of um, Mango Melody for the middles. And let's do some, let's do some Granny Apple Green. Um, just to show you, you can use any of the, the greens. The Granny Apple looks great with some of these brighter colors. The Old Olive always looks great for leaf colors. All right, so here is our focal point. We're gonna add a, let's see if I can find it. Add one of the sentiments. This one's just a small one that says hello. And we'll just add that to the side there. And we need some layers just to give it some interest, I think. So I've already die cut a, uh, a rectangle, a scalloped rectangle from the uh, Stitch So Sweetly's, Stitched So Sweetly dies. And then also just a little piece of black. I'm gonna add right across the bottom. I like to have a foundation for things if you haven't noticed. I just feel like I don't like things floating. It's just kind of a personal thing. So I'm gonna add this for my background. And then we'll pop that up with some dimensionals over the top. So I'd love to know what you think of the in colors that you're seeing. We have, we've seen the Just Jade, we've seen the Misty Moonlight, this is the Magenta Madness. And let's just add a few more pearls here. I'm really liking the pearls with this stamp set, just because it's kind of, I keep using the word sweet, but it is. It's just so cute and little and sweet. And the sentiments are sweet. If you wanted to, you could add the, one of the Baker's Twine bows on there just to give it a little more texture, but I kind of like it just like that. You could also, like we did on the other, you can add in a little bit of Wink of Stella, just to give it a little extra shimmer and shine. It's always good to have the Wink of Stella available. It just it just adds a little, little bit of something to every card that you do. So here is our Magenta Madness card. And then for our Too Cool version, I have one in another brand new color called Bumblebee. That's this background color. You can see what it looks like compared to So Saffron. That's what I used for the scallop rectangle uh, from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And then this time I colored it in with Rich Razzleberry blends, Granny Apple Green. I used the different flowers. I used a different vase and I used a different sentiment. This time it's from the Vibrant Vases. So you can see where the sentiments from Label Me Bold work really well but the sentiments in the stamp set also work really well for this particular class. So these are another couple of cards, and both of these are gonna be in your stamp set. I wanna make sure that you actually get those in colors in your hand so you can see what they look like. And then the final card that we're doing today, uh, it's starting with the soft sea foam. We have a little strip here of Coastal Cabana, and I've already text, uh, texture embossed that with the Scripty 3D folder. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just gonna do a little banner cut. So I'm cutting up the center, and then corner to center, and corner to center. So we'll add that with some snail. And just gonna have it flush to the right side here. All right. So next we're going to, actually I'm gonna need that out. Um, let's see. Next I have a little piece of matching soft sea foam in that same kind of scripty pattern from the Subtles Designer Series paper. And 
add that to a little piece of basic black. And we'll go ahead and put that on our card as well. So put this right here in the corner. All right, so there's our foundation for everything. Then again, I have the stitch shapes uh, uh, dies, and this time I used a square, kind of a small square. We're going to stamp two of the vases on there. Let's see. So the first one is gonna be the large vase. I really like that large vase. Maybe we'll do it upside down this time. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll do one here. And we'll stamp that second color in Coastal Cabana over the top. And then the next one will be the small vase. We'll stamp that right next door. And we're gonna fill that one in with some Highland Heather. And then let's get the flowers going here. So I'm going to stamp some flowers and I'm going to color those in. Let's see. Let's color them in with some light Calypso coral. I'm just using a lot of contrasting colors and mostly colors that are in the Subtles collection, just some light, just to make, just to put a lot of color right where our focal point is. So this time I'm gonna use just a little bit of shading. So I'm gonna, I'm coloring over the whole piece with the brush tip end in the light color. And then I'm also, um, I'm gonna blend in some dark flirty flamingo and I'm just going to add that right to the centers just to give it a little bit of a different tone, a little bit of a different color. I really love the way Calypso Coral and Flirty Flamingo look together when they blend together. And then we'll finish up with some Old Olive. And I'm using the dark this, this time. Okay, and then once again, we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting because we do not have a die for this, but it's okay. It's very simple to do just a little bit of cutting. So I didn't do a card today in the fifth color of In Color that's new, and that's called Cinnamon Cider. And that is a really pretty brown. I should have showed you, should have brought it over and showed you a picture, but you'll, you'll see it soon enough. And you might have already seen it on the internet. Some people have already talked about it. But it's a really pretty, uh, kind of an orangey brown. It's like cinnamon, it looks like cinnamon. A lovely color. And it looks really great with these other colors that are new too. All right, so here is our little, Flower. Let's pop that up with some dimensionals. Right on the top of that. And we will just add this right to the center of our focal point. And we'll add in see I have another sentiment oh here we go this one's probably gonna get the most use out of the label me bold and that is the birthday stamp so again use your super sharp paper snips and cut that out really easy to do and again we're gonna use those mini dimensionals. 
just a couple. And just a little bit of snail on the edge there since it's gonna overlap. And we'll put that right about here. Finish up with a couple of pearls on this one as well. If I can get a hold of one. Let's try, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put one right there. We'll do two. You could float it around the flowers like you did, like we done in the other ones if you wanted to. So this is our soft sea foam version. And I also did one in um, Coastal Cabana with Old Olive as the background. And I did all of the coloring very similar. So you can just see how they pop on each color. I actually like this one a little bit better. I don't know about you, but that's the one that I prefer. So let me review all of the cards that you're gonna get in the class. You're gonna have a six card class and get some of this stuff out of here. So you're gonna have the pool party card that we made first. We're gonna have the Coastal Cabana version. You're gonna have both the um, Magenta Madness and Bumblebee colors of that, so you can get those in your hands and play with them, and also both the Misty Moonlight and Just Jade. So you'll get all six of these cards in your class kit all the parts and pieces. You will need to have the stamps, obviously, and um, you know, you'll have enough scrap paper and things that you'll be able to stamp and do your cutting. But everything that's die cut, everything that's embossed, you'll be able to have those pieces in your kit so you're ready to go with the stamping. Uh, I'll have a complete list of all the supplies that you need on uh, this post later today, and, um, and that'll help you out too when you're making the cards in this kit. So again, to get the free kit, you just need to place an order at my online store, and it needs to be at least a $35 order. Let's get this in the camera so you can see. $35 order, you need to use the host code that I have showing there. You can go to my online store by going to twocoolstamping.com, click on the shop now link, and remember, if you have a, an order of $150 or more, you don't need to use the host code. I want you to be able to enjoy those Stampin' Rewards all on your own, and I'll know to send you the card kit automatically. So you'll have until next Tuesday in order to, um, to qualify for this kit, and um, then I'll be sending the kit out next weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed this class. Um, don't forget, many of these new uh, new products that are going to be in the catalog, the things that we're playing with now, a lot like the embossing folders, a lot of the ribbons, a lot of the embellishments that we get to play with right now, um, those might not be available right when the catalog comes out. We don't know for sure, but they're starting to run low. If you want to get your hands on those right now, I highly recommend getting that $99 starter kit. It's a great way to be able to not only order retired products that are on the list right now, some of which are discounted, you can get clearance items, you can get current catalog items, and you can get pre-order items that are exclusively available to demonstrators only. So just by placing that starter kit order, you'll be able to have access to all of those. And it's a great deal because you're only spending $99 and you're getting $125 in product. Uh, you also get free shipping on that, so it's a lot of savings within that order. And then you're a part of my Too Cool team and you get 20% off all of your future orders, which will be fantastic when we get that new catalog available to us so we can buy anything we want at a, at a discount. So if you have more questions, again, please don't hesitate to ask. You can go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the email link and let me know if you have any questions about that. I'll also put a link to purchasing the starter kit on this post as well. So if you do want to do that, you'll have an easy way to find that starter kit order. All right, everybody. 
I hope you've enjoyed these sweet cards and I really had so much fun making them and it's probably the last time I get to play with them. So I, I'm a little, it's a little bittersweet right now, but I hope that you purchase it or purchase the, the varied vases that are very similar and really have a lot of fun stamping with them. All right, everybody, thanks again for joining me and I will see you next week at uh, 9 a.m. Thursdays and uh, we're, we do it every week here. This is Angie with TooCoolStamping.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.